so boost control so I go down here to my closed loop boost control and I've got this set up um, so my target boost I pretty much left this the same I didn't change this uh, this table I'll, I'll change that later on uh, target boost I just put tens all across the board I don't want to go over 10 psi I still don't know what the compression ratio is inside this engine I don't have all the paperwork on it I thought about just dumping oil putting the cylinders putting cylinder one at top dead center dumping oil in to where it fills up to the bottom of the spark plug hole um, and then you know like taking the oil out putting a spark plug back in starting the engine up burning the oil out um, with the with the car running and then putting it at bottom dead center filling it up with oil again up to the bottom of the spark plug hole measuring how much the difference is and all that stuff I, I want to do that but it's uh, I would rather just find you know find out from the guy that had it before like hey what was the compression ratio oh cool it was nine to one it was ten to one it was whatever so um, anyway so onto this so uh, target boost right now I don't want to go over I don't want to go over 10 psi I just have it at 10 just to be safe I don't want to blow the head gasket or something crazy like that so onto the so I mentioned PID earlier uh, when I was talking about the uh, boost controller uh, PID is a way to efficiently use not specifically a boost control valve but just just uh, electrical motors solenoids things like that um, if you ha if you want it to go up to a certain point and then stop uh, there's a risk of like you know whenever it's telling it to stop if it's a motor it's kind of got to wind down a little bit so when you tell it to stop it's actually going to go a little bit beyond like the example a good example that I, I heard was this example of one of these drone helicopters you know like it, it flies up and you want to tell it to stop at this certain point but when it gets to that point it doesn't just do like a dead stop it gets to that point so the, that would be the proportional so it would be like from here to here you want it to go from here to here and you want it to stop so that would be the proportional the integral would be um, it's kind of like how much time do you want it before that but right before it gets to that proportional stopping point um, when do you want it to how much do you want it to taper off you know so you'll you'll change the integral to where like you know I want it to taper off you know just this much before so that way when it gets close to the proportional in the in the controller software it knows hey if I want to stop here I'm gonna to have to start to stop like a little bit before so that way it'll start to wind down and then it'll go. So they're used a lot. It's another efficient way to use electricity, and it has a lot to do with pulse width modulation. Um, they seem to work the same way, but I always hear them talked about separately. Um, I'm not sure why, but you'll hear PWM talked about, and you'll hear PID controllers talked about. So it sounds like like PID is talked about in terms of controller, and, PI, and PWM is 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 something that actually. Um, it's actually the controlling that happens. So, guessing, even though I haven't heard this for sure, it seems like PID is what controls, is what it uses PWM to control um, the devices. So integral, and then differential is more kind of like a long term. Um, I can't explain this one very well, but it's more like a long term um, setup. So that's the really that's the basics of PID. Proportional, integral, differential. Proportional and integral are the main ones that you want to change, but as you can see, I have my integral set at zero um, because I'm not worried about it over boosting. Um, and if it does go over, it'll probably go over like just, just a little bit, but um, it should, sh like right when it hits 10, it should shut off, and you shouldn't, I shouldn't have more boost that builds over. Um, if it does, it wouldn't be that much at all. So, um, 